Hey guys, it's Denali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you a 117 pound haul from the Goodwill bins. I spent, including tax, $229. And I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. So let's just jump right in. The first item I have to show you is this really pretty blue printed dress. Oh my gosh, here we go. It's a retro style, but it is a modern piece. And the brand is Trash what is it? Trashy Diva by Candace Gwynn. It's a size four and I did look up comps on this and you can see it's really cool with all the fans and stuff on there. I think the comps on this were about $60, 60 plus. The next item I have is this Eileen Fisher cardigan and this is a size medium and I'm pretty sure it's gotta be cashmere. It feels like cashmere. It's really nice and yeah, I love picking up Eileen. Do you guys still pick up Eileen? It's just a solid bread and butter. Nice bread and butter, we'll use that term. Next I have a pair of vintage dead stock jeans. These are totally my youth. These are silver tab Levi's jeans. These are the baggy fit and they're a 32, 34. I think everybody wanted these back in the 90s. So this was so awesome to find. And why do they call it silver tab? If you're not curious, it's literally a silver tab there instead of the red. There's also an orange tab. And I think there's a gold tab too that I found. Are there other tabs? I can't remember. I've got this North Face jacket. Okay, so a little bit of a bummer here, which I've talked about in the past, I made my own mistake, is that I didn't check to see if this jacket had a liner. So there's usually probably a fleece liner in here. And I was in a little bit of a hurry because I think I was there towards the end of the day. So I was having to work quickly. So yeah, I made the mistake that I talk about often, which is make sure that the liner is in the jacket. So I'll just sell it as is without the liner, but it will sell for less money, which is kind of a bummer. All right, next item I have to show you. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, this one I didn't look up comps on yet, so maybe we can do this together. If you're at your computer, type in the brand A-C-H-R-O. I think that's what it is. Acro? It's a size small. What is this brand? Are you familiar with it? It just, it, I don't know. It kind of looked nicer. It's 100% rayon. It's dry clean only. What do you think? Okay, this I thought was so fun. It's a vintage L.L. Bean sweater actually cardigan. It's a size large, super colorful. Look at this print. It almost looks like a cross between like Southwest style and Tetris. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's an aesthetic, but it should be. Anyway, super fun. I don't always pick up L.L. Bean or vintage L.L. Bean, but the fact that it's 100% wool along with the super fun colorful print, it was a yes for me. This is a Vince blazer. Love finding Vince, just a great selling item for myself. This is a size eight and I swear I picked up the same blazer or something similar about a week or two. I probably showed it in one of my hauls. Anyways, what I love about Vince is that you can always find the style number on the inside tag here. So it makes looking things up pretty quick. I could send this off to the real real. I'm not sure if I will or if I'll just list it in my Poshmark closet eBay store. Okay, this was just super fun. This is just a Liz Claiborne dress and it's a size two. Fun little colorful belt here. This isn't probably gonna go for much. If I did guess, maybe between 25, 30. That's what I'm hoping for. This I just couldn't not pick up because it's Ann Taylor new with tags. It's Ann Taylor Loft, obviously. It's a size 10. It was originally $79, ambitious. I don't know what I'll do with this. I may lot it up with some other new with tags items that I picked up from the bins and just sell it off as a big bundle. Next is a new with tags Prana t-shirt. Size small, it is a women's, super lightweight. This will be great for summer, outdoorsy pieces. A brand I usually only pick up to send to thread up, but it's a White House black market blouse. It's a size extra large and this, Sold in stores for $54.50. This is a brand that I usually will get in liquidation from Nordstrom, I think. The brand is In Bloom by John Quill. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. <laughs> this was a two-piece set. Obviously, I only found the bottom, so I would just like price it accordingly for the bottoms, which I think I have just sold their bottoms before. 
Okay, this, I don't know if it's vintage, but I recently picked up another American Girl piece that's meant for humans to wear, like not the dolls. So when I saw this one, I just had to pick it up also. Not sure if it's really vintage. It's Bitty Baby by American Girl. It's a size seven. Uh, however, there is some discoloration. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Maybe this will go to auction. We'll just see what we can get for it. That's unfortunate. It is like a holiday style dress. And why those can be more special is because usually there's a dress or matching outfit made for the doll. So that's why people want it. Okay, here's another new with tag item. It is the brand Buffalo. I don't know where this is sold. Jeans by Buffalo. This feels like a faux leather size large 14. I don't know. I need to look them up. <laughs> Not familiar with these. They were actually right by the silver tab jeans. So I thought, oh, maybe these are worth something also. Not sure if that's the case. This is a pair of St. John jeans, which is always so exciting to find. And this is obviously one of their newer tags, uh, size two white jeans that are actually white. That's pretty rare to find things that are a true white at the bins. There was a lot of men's shirts that I found that day that I went. <laughs> it's not the same day I'm filming. This is the brand Robert Graham. And if you can find, I think on most, but not all of the Robert Graham shirts, they will have on the inside cuff here, usually some heavy embroidery. This one really doesn't, that's the most of it. And so when you do have those, you refer to it as a flip cuff. So anyways, that's just a keyword that people look for. But anyway, yeah, a Robert Graham shirt. This was a cool vintage t-shirt that I just saw and really liked. It's um, just a Hanes beefy tee. This is probably like a tag from the 90s. Actually, I know it is because the date on the shirt is from the 90s. And it's 1993 Agape Designs. And it's, I don't know what this is, like a tree of life, because it looks like there's a person with a bunch of animals. I don't know. And then the back is the same thing. What do we have? A men's blazer. I found quite a few nice men's blazers while I was there. So this is John Varvatos and it's brown, it's pinstriped. I think I'll probably send this to the real real because I just don't like selling men's blazers, guys. Let's, let's just tell the truth here. I don't even know the sizing on here and I don't think you care, but I'll send this to the real real and I'll take a commission on it. They'll probably do better selling it than I will. Okay, this I need to do more research on. So if this looks familiar to you, please look up. Um, it is a silk camisole blouse type thing. It's got like an ivory, kind of like a cream actually, red on the inside, black on the front, but they cut out <laughs> the tag here and the RN number is also missing. Otherwise I would look it up. So I need to do a little bit of research. I don't know what this is, but it feels like it's nice and expensive. So if you know what this is, please leave a comment in the comments. Okay, next item is a blazer and this is Yves Saint Laurent. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. This again will get sent to the real real. If you're curious, not all pieces that you send to the real real have to be current or modern pieces. They do accept vintage. So even if this is possibly an older style, they may still accept it. Next, I have a Vineyard Vines shirt. This is size men's extra large. I actually found a ton of Vineyard Vines. <laughs> I can't say it right, can I? I found a ton of Vineyard Vines shirts that day. So this is like one of a bunch. Here's another one. Yeah, Vineyard Vines, extra large. There's actually just like a bin full of really great stuff. And I started to kind of uncover one item and then I found more and then I found more. My rule of thumb is like where there's one, there's two, there's two, there's three, there's three, there's four. You kind of just have to stick with it. And so I kind of just started grabbing things with abandon and I threw it in my cart. I later went through all of it and it was as good as I thought it was gonna be. Next item is another blazer, and this one is, okay, I can never say this. Here it is, look up. <laughs> what is it? Let me read it. This is also gonna go to the real real. I can't pronounce this, so I can't sell it. That's just the rules. Okay, next one is another men's blazer. This is, 
uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. So I'm not sure if they'll take, I'm pretty sure they will because I'm, I think I sent them the, the green label Ralph Lauren like pants before, dress pants. So this is just a blazer. I will send this to the Real Real and we'll see if they sell it. It's a lot of men's stuff today. Okay, this is Emporio Armani. There's the tag. I feel like that's an older style tag and this is just like a lightweight jacket, men's jacket. Again, I'll probably send that to the Real Real. Let them take care of it. And this is Oscar de la Renta and it does have like I don't know if that's like an ink stain, I'm guessing, because a man would probably put like a pen there. So yeah, I will send that to Real Real. I don't know if they'll accept it because of the ink stain. If it comes back to us, I will just sell it. Here's another Vineyard Vines shirt, size extra large, men's. Okay, next is a Veronica Beard blouse. Love selling this brand. The more current and nicer the pieces, the higher return on investment you're going to get. Uh, this is silk and it's got a really pretty floral embroidery or something in, in the silk. That's kind of cool. This, I'm not, I wanna say I'm not familiar with this brand, but I also think I've sold it. it. It says Wish designed in Seattle. So no, I don't think I've sold this one. I've sold another brand called Wish. It's a popular name. This is a size medium, but how fun is this? It's a dress and it's carrot. <laughs> How cute is this? So fun for spring. Somebody needs this for Easter. Love it. Okay, this is a really amazing jacket. To be honest, it's the first time I'm looking at it since I brought it home. Yeah, this is so fun. I think I had one of these when I was little. It's a size large. What other details? 100% polyester and viscose. Not much other details than that. So I'm going to have to look for keywords and stuff to figure out how I should price that. I bought this just because my son loves Marvel movies. So how could I not pick this up? It's a, what's his name? Deadpool. <laughs> it's a Deadpool cutoff t-shirt. It's a size medium. I don't know where this was probably originally sold. Maybe like a Target or something like that. You know, licensed merchandise. Probably not a huge return on investment, but whatever. This is another Vineyard Vine shirt. Another size extra large. It was literally all this dude stuff. Okay, this, I don't know if there's gonna be a high resale value on it. I just grabbed it because I thought it was cool. This is, I think, some sort of military coat. Hi guys, I'm editing right now, but I wanted to follow up and let you know that this is a vintage jacket. It is a US Marine Corps jacket from July 31st, 1952. So I'm excited to list this as it's in really great condition and it's such a cool piece of history. Somebody correct me. So it's vintage, I think. I'm not sure. Actually, I'm gonna consult with a friend after <laughs> after I film this video. So there is writing on the inside here and it is fully lined. I don't know, it could be costume as well. It says 36-L, so a large. It's wool. I don't know, it's cool, you guys. But I'm gonna have to ask a friend now. E-8805. I don't know what all that means. Okay, next is a uh, Express. This is a vintage Express dress, but it's just really cute, floral, very 90s. I've sold a few of these before, and they sell for like not bad amount of money. I feel like I could throw maybe a little cottage core uh, keyword in there. It's baby doll. Hmm, would that fit me? I don't know. I don't know, I'm not gonna try. This jacket actually doesn't have any branding on it but I just thought it's very art to wear which is an aesthetic and I thought it would do well art to wear pieces can usually get a high return on investment next talk about a fun one this is a Marnie jacket wool I'm not sure what size it is probably a small or a medium if I had to guess super stoked to find this really great expensive brand uh, yeah I think I'll sell it as opposed to consigning it. It's a 44. Well, that's kind of bigger, isn't it? Well, it depends on if it's like European sizing, French sizing. Isn't there different ones? <laughs> Things I should know because I'm a reseller. Okay. Next is this brand that I'd never heard of, but the comps looked interesting. So I thought I would take a chance on it. So here's the brand. It's called 
I think it was PNYB. Mm, you can look or PN, I don't know. It says PNR Nation. Anyway, it's a reversible quilted puffer. The inside is like a faux suede. I guess that's what I would call it. Yeah. I don't know. I saw comps that were about like maybe 60 to 100. So I thought I would just take a chance. Why not? This is a Columbia jacket. Nothing fancy. The one thing that I did like about it is that it has a cinched waist here with a tie belt. It's a women's and it is, I don't know what size, a medium. And it's kind of, I don't know, like a cherry red, maybe. We'll call it that. This I think is just handmade, but it's so cute. And I don't know how vintage it is, but I just really like the print. It's all these flowers and it's not denim, but it just kind of has that denim look. They actually sewed on like an embroidered patch here, it looks like. And then it has the circle pull. I don't know what you would call that. Anyways, I don't know. Is it weird or cute? I don't know. I can't, I can't make up my mind on that one. All right, so we've got a pair of Eileen Fisher, I think these are linen pants. They're a size small, drawstring, waist, cropped with a frayed raw hem. Super cute, would love those in my size during the summer. This I just had to grab, it's Seattle Seahawks, NFL licensed, size large, Christmas sweater. It's a little early, I know, but sometimes people do that like Christmas and July thing, so, which speaking of, if they do that, I also have this. <laughs> okay, it's kind of ridiculous, but it's an, look at that, it says uh, ugly sweater. <laughs> it's a size 2X and yeah, I don't know. If you're into cats, maybe it's gonna be your, your thing, you know? Okay, next item, I think this is another Eileen Fisher piece. These are, <clears throat> again, I think, maybe these are silk. They're size four. I'm not gonna turn them inside out because you guys are gonna kind of get it. They're pants. They're just gray Eileen Fisher pants. So there's that. These are a pair of the brand Nude. There's that. First time I picked up this brand was in LA. I'd never seen it before. Comps, I don't know. I'll be happy if I get 30 bucks for these, possibly higher. So don't quote me on those. Uh, they're shredded, which I'm uh -huh, not sure if they're supposed to be. They're velour joggers, as you can see. And yeah, they're shredded there. So I didn't even bother to look up if that was intentional or not. We'll just find out later. This I grabbed. So people, I think, tend to not get heavier items from the bins because it's going to cost you more. But I'm not afraid of that if the comps will prove it favorable. So this is a torrid jacket and or coat rather. And torrid coats tend to be priced high in the stores and then also do have a good resale value. So this is size two, which is their vanity sizing. So it's like a 2X. And it's just this wool zip up coat with the cool little toggles. It's in pretty good condition. I'm happy with it. I washed it, did all the things. So I did look up comps and I'm thinking that I can probably get anywhere between 60 to 100 for it. I'm okay with that. Next is a free people dress. And yeah, you know, like free people is free people. It's what you expect, a little free people skater dress. And it is a size something. They cut off the size tag here, that's lame. So we'll just measure it and we'll put fits like a, for that I would guess extra small or small. Okay. Oh no, stuff is falling. This is another Columbia jacket. This is a size large men's, I think is what it says. It's a fleece, but this thing doesn't feel like they really ever wore it. So that's cool. I'm okay with that. Next we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> this, I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick up. It's Prana. There's the little Prana logo but it's a like leotard, Prana leotard. I've never seen this before. I thought it just felt special. So I didn't even look up comps. We'll see what it goes for. Look at the back. Isn't that braiding really cool? If I had to guess, that's probably a smaller, extra small. So, okay. This is another Eileen Fisher item. There was a lot guys, size four and they are quarter pants, 
cargo style. I think they're either gray or brown, but I can't really tell. Clearly, I just, you know, got somebody's Eileen collection and I'm okay with that. This is another, oh, I was gonna say it's a Columbia jacket, but it actually is Spider. So yeah, like selling this brand. It retails for a lot. It can sometimes resale for a lot. I did wash it, but it needs a lint roller and then my comb. I don't know. It's like a fleece comb. I'll put it down in the description. You guys can check it out, but it revives fleece really well. It's also like those carpet combs, if you know what I'm talking about. All right, next item is some Patagonia shorts. I think these are men's. Yeah, size 32, I think they are. Are these men's? 32, black. And are these also Patagonia? No, these are just REI. These are size 30L, is that long? I'm not sure if they're men's or women's, but they are the zip off kind, which people like in the outdoorsy. <laughs> the outdoorsy people like them in summer. They're great for summer because, especially living up here in the Pacific Northwest, half the day it might be cold and then the last half of the day it'll warm up so you can just zip, zip off your pant and now you're in a short. How nice is that? Okay, this is, oh, another Columbia piece. Again, this is another one, I think this is a men's XL, where the fleece is just, feels really good. Nice condition, thought they barely wore it, which I'm happy with. Okay, <laughs> this is a Madewell t-shirt, size small, linen blend, super cute, little tie down in the front. Probably get like, I don't know, 30 bucks maybe, 20, 30 bucks. These are some North Face men's brown corduroy pants, size 36, short. Oh, okay, they look really long to me, but okay. Awesome. This, I was shocked that nobody had picked up. It was a Levi's denim jacket. It's not a vintage one, but it was still in cool, distressed condition. I took it home, it needed a wash. I washed it. It looks nice now, so yeah, I'm not sure. This is an intimately free people ribbed little top. It needs to be deep pilled. It's really staticky too. Uh, anyway, size extra small, small. I don't know, probably like 20 bucks for that. This is, what are you? Oh, I think these are Lululemon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it says, it's got the little logo there on the drawstring. These are a pair of Lululemon pants. I think they're women's, but they might be men's. This could be a men's jogger. Not sure where the size tag is on these. It's probably in one of the pockets that I'm not seeing right now. So I'll figure that out later. Does it have the underwear built in? I think it does. It's really dark in here, I can't see. Anyway, there we go, Lululemon, fun. This I didn't look up comps on. It was just so cool that I had to pick it up. It's an apron. And here's what it looks like. How fun is this? I don't know if it's a women's or kids. I think, you know, I think this is adult sizing. Look at that print. It's so adorable. And the brand is Akiko S Design. 100% cotton made in USA. I don't know, it's so dang cute. I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> this brand, I had to look up. I'd never heard of it before. It's called Physiclo. And they're size 2XL men, but they're, I'm pretty sure biker shorts because there's a lot of padding in here. And some of those cycling brands resell for a ton of money because again, the retail is so high. So I always kind of check comps on those to see which ones are gonna be worth it and which ones aren't. All right, this item is another brand that I'd never heard of before, but when I looked up comps, they were pretty darn good. So I definitely picked it up. The brand is called uh, Tr True Gear, T-R-E-W Gear. And this is a size medium. So this is new to me, athletic wear brand. I definitely recommend checking up comps, checking out comps. I can't remember off the top of my head what they were, but they were good enough to me to take note of it. <laughs> this is just a cute little Columbia summer dress. Super fun. A North Face hoodie, but how fun is the print? It's all in neon. And I'm guessing that this is a women's size extra large. 
Oh, look at this though. I just noticed. It's got two bleach stains on the back, which is fine. We will just price it, you know, with that in mind. This is just an REI men's medium button down shirt. This is so funny because if you guys have been watching any of my recent videos, then you will have noticed that I mentioned this brand recently in another haul, Effie's Heart. I had mentioned that I haven't this, found this brand in years and now I found it twice in a month or something. They're a size large and it's a skirt, super cute. I think the other one was a skirt too. This brand is new to me. It took me a minute to find comps on it. And then once I found them, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna buy that. Cause I'm pretty sure that I saw somewhere around close to hundred, but maybe I'm imagining things. The brand is called Jung Maven, American made. So that kind of tipped me off that it might be a good item. Here's what the tag looks like. And I think these are a pair of men's shorts. And I also feel like the material is perhaps organic cause when I was, comping them, that was kind of the information that I was seeing. Of course, I can't find the care tag in this moment. Oh, there it is, 55% hemp, 45% hemp, organic cotton. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. This is the brand Vineyard Vines, again, size extra large. So clearly I really cleaned out that dude's closet. Oh, there's actually another one of these, there's two. This is a Nautica jacket. I think these are vintage, but I don't know how vintage they are. So things have to be 20 years plus to be considered vintage. Here's the tag. And I'm, I remember the girls in middle school, high school wearing these jackets. It was always like the really popular girls. <laughs> I never had one of these. Uh, anyway, I grabbed it. I thought it was so cool. You know, if 90s are still having a moment, then I'm gonna be a part of it. Okay, this was just a really fun vintage knit shirt. It's the brand Saint Croix Knits. It's large, 100, or excuse me, 70% wool, fun. This is, oh my gosh, the best, I think the best bag is the one maybe I saved for last. Okay, this is, this is J. Jill. Okay, I know, I get it. You're not excited by it, but how fun is this? Look, it's suede. Yeah, I thought that was cute. Okay, next is some just some new with tag stuff. The brand head, I think they sell this at Costco, new with tags. This is a skirt. I don't know what the brand is on this. Athena Marie. Yeah, I'll probably lot a lot of this stuff up and just sell it as a new with tag lot. Um, what else? These are American Eagle jeans. Oh no, they're Abercrombie and Fitch, just kidding. Maybe I'll take those to Plitos. This is a pair of Universal Thread shorts. This is a Leo and Nicole cardigan. This is a new with tags Hollister. These have all been new with tags. This is a new with tags LuLaRoe. This is a new with tags Penguin tie. This is a new with tags Apartment 9 sweater. Wow, okay, we made it through that stuff really quick to then come to this super cool piece. Uh, the brand is called Art Folklorico Peruano, which it's basically from Peru and it's alpaca, handmade alpaca wool poncho thingy. And I'm pretty sure the comps that I looked at, this and the other one that I got, cause I got two, were somewhere around maybe 75 to 125. Don't quote me, of course, always look up your comps on your own. This is the other one that I grabbed different brand, but it's Alpaca Camago. I don't know how you say it guys. Made in Peru, but this is what the tag looks like. So basically if you see Alpaca that was made in Peru, and again, this is like a cape poncho thing. Really cool. It doesn't look like much. It's worth looking up comps because a lot of times that stuff is worth some money. Um, this is a new tags dress from Ross. This is a Madewell vest. And look at it, it's kind of cool. It's like a teddy bear material. So again, I'm gonna take that fleece comb to this and really revive this material. Speaking of fleece, I'll probably do it to this one as well. This is a really cool vintage Columbia fleece. Da -da 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 -da. Look at the colors, very 90s, love it. Okay, what are you? Oh, this is just a little Reebok top. <laughs> this, it doesn't look like it, but when I button it together, it is a skirt from Free People. So there it is. That's real small. I'm not gonna lie to you. 
I don't know what size that is, but holy moly, that's real small. Okay, this is a really fun crew neck sweatshirt with this husky dog on it, or maybe it's a wolf. I think that's a wolf, Denali. Uh, I think it's vintage, not sure how vintage it is, but that's what the tag looks like. Cool, love it. This, I'm guessing, is Eileen Fisher. Another one, you guys, that's crazy. This one's a size eight petite. This is another Eileen Fisher, oh my gosh. Size petite medium. This is a Free People embroidered top. And this is a size small. Okay, this was just fun. I don't know if it's worth anything, <laughs> but it's just a New York Yankees. I'm not sure if it's vintage, look at the tag. I mean, it's faded away, but that might not mean anything. But we'll check comps, of course, property of New York Na Yankees. I think this might be Lululemon, but I'm not entirely sure. No, yes. <laughs> So it says it again here on the drawstring. I'm not sure what size these are, but they're a houndstooth print. Super long and tall. I love these basic Nike tanks. And they usually sell for like 15 to 20 bucks and they weigh nothing. So it's always a reason for me to pick them up at the outlet. I'm guessing this is, oh, I was gonna say Eileen, but it's Patagonia. That's definitely an older tag, Patagonia. This is a size six women's, just like a cream color. This was too fun. I just had to grab it. I figured maybe somebody watching this video likes Scrabble and they would want this. It's a size extra large, but it's a Scrabble blouse. <laughs> this is a something. Oh, just a Columbia jacket. Light windbreaker, size small women's. Da -da -da. This is, I think, Wilfred, which is sold at Aritzia. Size small, ribbed, mock neck. I think this is gonna be Peter Millar. Oh, nailed it. Button down Peter Millar shirt. This is a Madewell pair of jeans, <laughs> women's. They are the curve, curvy high rise skinny size 29. Super cute. I still love a skinny jean. I don't care if we're not supposed to wear them anymore. I still like them. This I think is Lululemon. It's a bra. I washed it and it's got some static on it. And it's got the two raised bars, which I think means it's a six. Is this Lululemon, guys? Where am I gonna find that tag? Otherwise, I'm gonna guess that it's probably Fabletics or something to that effect. Okay, here's the other Nautica jacket, right? How 90s is this? And it's got US sailing team on here. Yeah, love it. Here's a Columbia jacket. I thought this was really cute. I wish it was my size. This one's a medium, women's. How fun. This is, I think, vintage champion, but I'm not sure actually. No, maybe the way that that tag is stitched on there. I don't know how vintage that is. Anyways, it was in good condition, so I grabbed it. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the best item that was in this entire haul. <laughs> it's so exciting. I never find cool band t-shirts. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, especially fun because I live in Seattle, Washington. So it's a Kurt Cobain t-shirt. It is vintage. Here is the tag. It's an anvil tag and it's a size XL. And I did look up comps and I saw that they sell from anywhere from like 100 to $250. So I'm excited to get this listed. Awesome. So stoked about that find. Okay. Next, I have a Vineyard Vines t-shirt. This is, I think, a women's size medium. Finally, a women's piece. These are a pair of rag and bone jeans. They are the standard issue skinny leg size 31. This is a, just like a super fun Chico's piece. It's a size three, which is vanity sizing. And it's linen and it's super colorful and blue. This, oh, I was gonna give this to my son. <laughs> It's just a Darth Vader t-shirt. You're coming home with me. Okay, this is just a Michael Starr's dress. I don't know if this is like a pregnancy dress because it has a lot of ruching on the front, but I'm just saying there could be a belly panel there if you need it. Uh, Marmot jacket. We love Marmot. This is a fleece men's extra large. I did sweater shave it, but I got it to as good as it's going to get. 
This is a Patagonia zip up pullover little top. And oh, it's one of the, I think this is one of the base layer things. I can't totally read it here, but I think that's what it says. I've sold these before. Yeah, just kind of a mustard yellow. These are some fun vintage dresses that I got. Look at this, super cute with the flowers. Oh my gosh, and then this little vest that goes over the top. How fun is that? Love that. And then this one needs a steam. I may have washed it. <laughs> so we might need to steam this little sucker out. Yeah, I know that was probably not a good idea, but I did it. Uh, this is a vintage nightgown. Not sure of the brand, but here it is, real pretty. Just like a baby pink with the lace, full length, ties in the back. Super cute. This is a Free People Intimately little thing. I don't know, bodysuit, something like that. And let me show you guys this stuff. This is a vintage jacket. I don't know, the print was so amazing. It's kind of discolored here, but it's full length. And I think there even is a tag in here. Yeah, De Leon. I kind of tried looking up comps and I really couldn't find anything. So that was kind of a bummer. This is just a vintage metallic sweater. But how fun is this? I love it. I want to wear that. <laughs> it's not my size, but I really want to wear it. This is a Prana men's vest. It's funny, in my head I was thinking, I don't pick up that much Prana, and then I got three pieces today. So, yeah, it was in great condition, size medium. You know, we're kind of coming out of the seasons where it's like you have to have sleeves on your jackets and coats, so maybe that'll be appropriate. This is a brand I haven't found in forever, but it's Joseph, Joseph Ribkoff. I feel like maybe they take this at the real real. Maybe I could send that there. Hmm, something to think about. This I should have soaked at home, which I didn't, but it's a vintage dress. Maybe I'll give it to my friend. She might want that. These are a pair of Patagonia jeans. I've never found so much Patagonia in one trip in my life. And last but not least, I don't know, this is like an atrocity. <laughs> so I need to take it back home and clean it. But this thing is insane. It's the brand Tea and Cup, which doesn't really resell for a lot, but I did not find anything like this listed anywhere. And this thing is like epic. I love it. It's a size small. I don't even know what to tell you this is. It looks like a costume or something that a person who lives in the garbage would wear. Is, is that weird? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching my haul, you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.